Hi everybody, I'm Eric Hutchinson. I teach in the Classics Department at Hillsdale and, uh, and direct the Collegiate Scholars Program. And uh, just wanted to give you a few words of, uh, of encouragement today, if, if I could. Good things <clears throat> are almost always under attack and have to fight for their survival, or rather need someone to fight for their survival. Learning is one of those good things. And so we should expect learning always to be in a precarious state. This is, of course, true even more in periods of crisis, whether the slow crisis of what you might call the entertainment industrial complex that seduces us into abandoning thought, provided that we are amused and sedated, or the fast crisis of a virus or a bomb, or all of these in combination. The danger in such circumstances is a marked increase in thoughtlessness at a time when it is most necessary, both for the present and for the inevitable future. And this is why I want to encourage you to stick with it at the end of the semester that closes a year that's been uh, one of the strangest, certainly in my lifetime. And I want to encourage you to stick with it because what you're doing is important, both for yourselves and for your neighbors. Your education continues to matter, as it always must for any civilized people. Issues of the kind I'm describing are raised with great power in Ray Bradbury's Fahrenheit 451, which I brought with me. As the government burns books that might distract people from the numbness and mindless and submissive hedonism that it wishes to cultivate, the gratifications of a constant onslaught of streamed media and drugs, which it enforces with the soft power of pleasure and the hard power of coercion. The few who cling to the old books are the last bulwark against total barbarism and the only conduit for an eventual revivification of civilization. So what do they do? Those who refuse to be Netflixed and Facebooked and Spotified and Zoomed into a meaningless existence. They cultivate memory as ballast against cultural amnesia. They cultivate thought and conversation as ballast against mere entertainment. So I want to encourage you with that. As Granger, one of the characters in 450, Fahrenheit 451, says, we are all bits and pieces of history and literature. And he goes on to say, all we want to do is keep the knowledge we think we will need intact and safe. We're not out to incite or anger anyone yet. For if we are destroyed, the knowledge is dead, perhaps for good. Right now we have a horrible job. We're waiting for the war to begin and as quickly end. It's not pleasant, but then we're not in control. We're the odd minority crying in the wilderness. When the war's over, perhaps we can be of some use in the world. Montag replies, do you really think they'll listen? And Granger says, if not, we'll just have to wait. We'll pass the books on to our children by word of mouth and let our children wait in turn on the other people. A lot will be lost that way, of course, but you can't make people listen. They have to come around in their own time, wondering what happened and why the world blew up under them. It can't last. And I'll just conclude with that. It can't last and it won't. And your education is preparing you for when that truth becomes inescapable. So keep after it and best, best wishes for the end of the semester.